In this video, I will show you how to enable Start VM on Connect functionality uh, that's available in WVD through the Nervio Manager. So the Start Virtual Machine on Connect functionality is currently available in preview from Microsoft as of this recording. And it is designed to allow users whose personal desktops that are directly assigned to them are currently powered off to manually, or not manually, to automatically start them when the user is logging in. Uh, I've opened up the Microsoft documentation page that walks you through some of the requirements and limitations and a fairly extensive set of steps you must go through to configure this functionality uh, in the Azure subscription and then en enable it on a particular host pool. Luckily, in Nerdio Manager, this process is completely automated. So let's go ahead and open up our Spring Update workspace. I have created a host pool called Direct Connect. And as you can see, this is a single user personal desktop with an assignment type of Direct. Now, this is important because the Start VM on Connect functionality only works with Direct assignments right now. It does not work with host pools that are using automatic assignments. So in order to configure Start VM on Connect, we simply have to go to this action menu dropdown, go to hosts, sorry, go to properties, select WVD, and Nerdio Manager will automatically detect whether or not something is, is whether the subscription is already configured for the Start VM on Connect functionality. So if we go ahead and we check this box, it will tell us whether there is anything else that needs to be done. In this case, it looks like the subscription that I'm deployed is not configured for Start VM on Connect. And once I click OK, Nerdio Manager will do this configuration for me and enable this functionality. There's really nothing else for me to do. So all I need to do is be sure that I'm logged in as an owner of this particular subscription. And then once I click OK, this functionality will be enabled on this host pool called Direct Connect. And once it's enabled, if a user whose VM is powered off tries to log in, that VM will automatically be started. So let's go ahead and give this a try. So I have this VM currently that's powered off. I'm going to go to the HTML client. This works with the HTML client, the Windows client, and the Mac OS client as of right now. So once we log into the HTML client, we will find our direct connect um, host pool that currently doesn't have any VMs that are running. And as you can see, it is automatically starting my VM and it's telling me it's going to take up to five minutes. And then once the VM is started, it will um, uh, it will give me the login prompt. So if I go back here and I click on this VM to actually take a look at it in Azure, we will see that its status currently is starting. So this is in fact doing what it's meant to be doing and our connect uh, or our start VM on connect functionality is enabled as easy as checking a box and clicking OK. Again, remember the requirement is the first user who enables this functionality on the very first host pool in the subscription must be the owner of that subscription in order to configure all the prerequisites. There is a custom RBAC role that needs to be created and, and some other configurations that must happen at the subscription level. Hope you found this useful and I will see you in the next video.